You can call it pop, soda, or fizz, but don't be a jerk about it. And action. Okay. Please just pick up the can. No, no, just pick it up. No, no, it's a problem. I'm sorry, an old habit. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sodas. With special sparkle, citrus crisp, orchard fresh, lively with pinpoint carbonation. For this list, we're looking exclusively at carbonated drinks and are ranking them based on flavor, popularity, and sales. Canned juices and other non-bubbling soft drinks are a list for another day. They're ready, folks. Number 10, Crush. I said, Gramps, no offense. I don't think you're ready. This is major orange taste. It's totally outrageous. This popular zesty drink was first developed in 1906, but really gained ground in 1916 with the creation of the Orange Crush Company. Fresh fruit flavor. That's for me. It tastes better. Naturally. Orange Crush. Orange Crush. Get some right away. First named Ward's Orange Crush after one of the company's founders, the business has changed hands a number of times throughout the century and is currently owned by the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Notable because it originally contained orange pulp, Crush was initially only available in orange. However, additional flavors have popped up over the years, including pineapple, strawberry, and the ever-popular Grape Crush. You want your first crush to last. Number 9. Root Beer Oh, root beer! This is A&W root beer. It's got that frosty mug taste. It's special. It's not just a clever name. As it's brewed from a mixture of herbs, roots, and sugars, root beer is, technically, a beer. However, owing to its shortened fermentation process, the actual alcohol content tends to top out at 0.5%. While the drink has origins as far back as 1265 in ancient Britain, it wasn't really developed or mass-marketed until 19th century American pharmacist Charles Hires developed his blend. From the bottle, fountain, and the keg too, it's real old-time Hires root beer for pleasure and thirst. That was followed by a host of other brands, including Barks, Mug, Dad's, and A&W. With A&W, it's good to be thick-headed. Number 8. 7-Up. The Uncola. The un that's always smooth, never harsh or irritating, without a hint of aftertaste. This widely popular lemon-lime Uncola was first marketed by Charles Leiper Grigg in 1929, mere weeks before that year's stock market crash. It was first sold under the name Bib Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda, which, in addition to being a mouthful, was accurate as the soda did contain lithium. The beverage's name eventually morphed into 7-Up, possibly due to the seven natural flavors that blended into a savory, flavory drink with a real wallop. And when you put it all together, it's Uncola. And that's 7-Up everybody knows. And it became the third best-selling soda in the world. However, the mood-altering lithium was removed in 1950. Hey, make 7-Up yours, man. Are oh, we going global with this baby? Number seven. Ginger Ale. Somebody saw the shot and she's got a cold drink for you. This brown and bubbly champagne stand-in was first crafted in its golden ale form by American doctor Thomas Cantrell. Later, dry ginger was developed by Canadian pharmacist John McLaughlin, who patented the drink in 1907 and marketed it as Canada Dry Ginger Ale. This variant became popular during the Prohibition era as it proved to be an excellent mix with alcoholic drinks. Bathtub gin and ginger, anyone? One gulp is for thirst, the other gulps are for kicks. Both dry and golden ales are available from a range of brands, including Schweppes and Seagram's. And it's often used as a home remedy for nausea. Canada dry ginger ale, so good it hurts. Number six, Fanta. Now there's a soft drink from the Coca-Cola company that makes it fun to be thirsty. Possibly the best thing to come out of Deutschland since Johann Sebastian Bach. This fun-loving pop drink was developed for Coca-Cola in Germany by Coke man Max Keith. Born out of necessity during World War II, the German Coke plant was cut off from the rest of the world, forcing them to create a new drink out of pomace, whey, and any other foodstuff the plant could obtain. 
Following the war, the beverage, whose name is taken from the German word for fantasy, was marketed globally and is now available in over 100 flavors. New Fanta Raspberry and Passion Fruit, Special Edition. How far would you go to taste it? Number five, Pepsi. Burn up your energy, work up a mighty thirst, then belt down a cold Pepsi-Cola. It puts back your energy and tastes better cold than any other soft drink in the world. Pharmacist Caleb Bradham first introduced the refreshing bane of Coke's existence in 1893 as Brad's drink, an energy booster and digestion aid. Five years later, Bradham hit the spot when the drink was rebranded as Pepsi-Cola after its chief ingredients pepsin and cola nuts. Although Pepsi has never quite topped Coke's sales numbers, preference for the Blue Label Cola in taste tests was enough to make its Red Label rival rework its classic recipe in the 1980s, birthing the much-loathed new Coke. They changed my Coke. Something wrong with it? I don't know, but they sure changed it. Coulda asked. But coulda. I stuck with them through three wars and a couple of dust storms, but this is too much. Number four, Mountain Dew. It'll tickle you. This citrusy drink will tickle your innards. Give me something simple and true. All I need is sunshine and smooth, refreshing Mountain Dew, yeah. Give me a river, give me a dew. Give me my good friends, give me a dew. Although now marketed to would-be daredevils, the dew was actually created by brothers Barney and Ali Hartman to mix perfectly with, um, locally sourced untaxed hooch. Mountain Dew will tickle your innards cause there's a bang in every bottle. In fact, the drink's name itself is a slang term for moonshine. <laughs> Even with its rustic beginnings, Mountain Dew's been owned by Pepsi since 1964. The yellow-green stuff may face competition from Mellow Yellow and Sundrop, but in the category of things that taste like Mountain Dew, the real deal boasts 80% of market sales. What is that? It's my day I'll call. That's way better than my duck call. Number three, Sprite. It will not make me more attractive to the opposite sex, though I wish it would. You're beautiful. If I need a badge, I'll become a security guard. Welcome to the force, If I need a refreshing son. drink, I'll obey my thirst. The go-to soda for those who obey their thirst, this lemony limey, or as they say, lime drink, was first developed in Germany as Clear Lemon Fanta. In 1961, it was first marketed as Sprite in the United States and elsewhere, with Germany following suit in 1968. In the 1980s, the beverage began targeting teens with their advertising and has been a hit with the Walkman and B-Ball crowd ever since. So I can play even harder. What's my thirst? Staying on top. What's yours? Owing to the strength of its parent company, Coca-Cola's distribution network, this citrus soda has beaten rival 7-Up since 1989. Can I trade in this 7-Up for a Sprite? Gee, I don't know. Something the matter? Yeah, Sprite tastes better than 7-Up. Come on. Really, Sprite even beats 7-Up in a taste test. Number two, Dr. Pepper. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause it never let you down. Frosty, man. Frosty. This indescribable blend of 23 flavors was first brewed in 1885 by pharmacist Charles Alderton. And like most sodas in those days, it was promoted as a brain tonic and a sort of energy drink. Charge, get going again. Alderton and partners formed what would become the Dr. Pepper Company in 1891, making them the oldest pop manufacturer in the United States. Attempts to rival the drink have been hard fought, with Coke twice being successfully sued for their alternative to the doctor, Mr. Formerly Dr. Pibb. They're salutin' peppers, tootin' peppers. I'm a pepper man. Would you like to be a pepper too? Be a pepper, drink Dr. Pepper. Before we pop the top on our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Just one sip made me wax so nostalgic. I invited all my childhood buddies to Hollywood. Hi, buddies. Ah! Ah! 
Tango with Orange Intensity. We got the juice. We got a hit. We got the blast. Sprite and 7 Up Mist. Fresca tastes like Fresca is. Splashy, bouncy, bold. Comes out fighting, roaring. Fresca tastes like Fresca is different. Number one, Coca Cola. Available anywhere in the world except North Korea and Cuba, our top pick has been one of the top pops for many since 1886. Developed by pharmacist and injured Civil War colonel John Pemberton, he was searching for an alternative to morphine due to his own addiction, and first sold Coke as a tonic. And yes, until 1903, Coca-Cola did actually contain cocaine, about 9 milligrams a glass. It's bracing too. Coca-Cola gives you a bit of quick energy that brings you back so refreshed so quickly. Though it's an icon today, Coke sales in its first year totaled just $50, which represented a 20 buck loss for the company. Sales since have been significantly higher. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Sodi Pop? Whoa. For more bubbly top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Coca-Cola. Счастье неизменно с 1886 года.